Oh my god. I still can't believe I have a twin sister. And I didn't know about it for 16 whole years. Yes. It's absolutely mind-blowing that I found you after all this time. I'm so sorry about earlier when I got into that heated argument with my parents. So I couldn't give you the attention you deserved and couldn't talk to you much. But tell me, how did you manage to find me? Um, actually, you're not going to believe it. You see, I don't have a fixed place to live, so I constantly move between different states. Today, by sheer coincidence, I arrived in Florida. As I was casually walking through the plaza earlier, I happened to spot you and our parents leaving a clothing store. I, I couldn't believe my eyes, I had to do a double take because, well, you look exactly like me. I desperately wanted to say something, but nerves got the best of me. By the time I mustered the courage to approach you, you were already heading home. So I followed you and knocked on your door. <laughs> I'm sorry because it might sound creepy, I know, but I couldn't pass up the chance to meet my long lost sister. Oh, don't worry, I'm glad you did it. This is really overwhelming. <laughs> But it's not your fault at all, if anything, it's because my parents, or rather, my adoptive parents, have been deceiving me all my life. Wait, you don't know you're adopted? Sadly, nope. If you hadn't come to find me today, I probably wouldn't have known. My adoptive parents have lied to me all my life. My whole life has been a lie, but that's a whole different story. I just want to know more about you. Oh, there's no hurry. We still have plenty of time together, right? But you mentioned earlier that you were arguing with your parents. Was it because of my sudden appearance? If so, I'm really sorry. I just wanted to see my sister again without thinking about turning your life upside down. Oh, don't feel guilty. The fault lies with my parents for keeping this life-altering secret from me. So, tell me. <laughs> When did you first learn about having a twin sister? And how did you manage to search for me all over the country? It was three years ago when I stumbled upon the truth, Samantha. The nuns at the orphanage I grew up in disclosed our heartbreaking past. They informed me that our parents tragically died in a car accident, leaving us as the sole survivors. We were separated and placed in different orphanages. From that moment on, I vowed to find you. I left the confines of the orphanage and embarked on a relentless journey crisscrossing the country. And finally, today, I found you. Oh my god, so many truths were revealed today. I'm, I'm seriously questioning if I'm the, the real Samantha at all. I was just as shocked as you were at first. I understand how overwhelming it must be for you, but please, try to take a deep breath, and everything will be fine. And it's strange, isn't it? Even though we've only just reunited, I feel an unexplainable closeness to you, as if we've never been apart for a single day in the past 16 years. Yes, I feel that too. Is this some kind of parapsychology? <laughs> Perhaps it is. <laughs> the universe works in mysterious ways, and somehow, against all odds, we have found each other again. But wait, if you had just arrived in this city, where are you staying? Do you have a safe place to go? Don't worry about me, Samantha. I have a means of sustaining myself and finding shelter. Let's just say I have a job <laughs> that provides for my basic needs and sometimes even more. <laughs> That's incredible! You have a job? I'm impressed, Serena. Thank you. <laughs> Would you be open to exploring this path with me? Tomorrow morning, we can dive into this job of mine and you can see what it's all about. Tomorrow morning? But I have school. Oh, come on. Can't you just skip a day of class? The school will always be there, but moments like this? where we can uncover the truth about our lives and bond as sisters may not come again. I understand, it's a tough decision, but can't you just take one day off? 
for me, please. I understand, but if my parents found out that I skipped school, they would be furious. You know what? That's one of the struggles teenagers face when they have overprotective parents. Look at you. Lacking freedom and the ability to voice your opinions? Come on, try doing what you want and find your own happiness. Let's take a break for a day. Have some coffee and I'll show you my work. It'll be fun, I promise. Look, I'll call the school, pretend to be your mom, tell them you're sick. It'll be fine. Well, I guess missing one class wouldn't hurt. That's the spirit. We'll meet at the plaza where we found each other today. Oh, uh, and remember to bring your school bag and pretend you're going to school as usual so your mom won't suspect anything. <laughs> I'll pick you up at the top of the street. Yeah, I think I can manage that. Oh, see you tomorrow. Ugh, my mom keeps texting and calling me. Okay, see you tomorrow, sis. Sam? What are you doing? You know we're going to a party tonight, right? We can't be late. A dinner party? Seriously? At a time like this, all you care about is that stupid party? How can you be so, so heartless? It's because you're not my biological mother that you don't care about me like that. Sam, I understand that the truth has rocked your world, but it's not like I don't care about you. This reservation was made months ago for the restaurant you've always wanted to try. We couldn't pass up this opportunity. Can't you see that? If that's the case, then why can I bring Serena with me? Ugh, honey, you know we only made reservations for three. We couldn't have anticipated that Serena would suddenly appear. Besides, your father and I were planning to tell you everything tonight. So, now... After all these years, you finally decide to tell me the truth? How could you keep the fact that I'm adopted from me? Sam, we never meant to hurt you. We were waiting for the right time when we thought you were ready to handle it. You don't get to decide when I'm ready! I have a twin sister out there who I've been deprived of for 16 years. We didn't know anything about her either. When we adopted you, all your records were sealed. We had no idea Serena existed. You have to believe us. And listen, I understand you're excited about this. We all are, but we need to proceed cautiously. We don't really know Serena, and I feel uneasy about the fact she traveled across the country to find you. What are you talking about? She is my flesh and blood, more than I can say about you two. Of course she had to find me. I can't believe you would keep the most crucial aspect of my life a secret. Sam, please calm down. No, just stop. I don't want to hear any more excuses from you. It's not like that, Sam. We've always loved you as our own. We wanted to give you a stable and loving home. We never wanted you to feel any different or less loved. <laughs> but the truth is, I am different. Well... Serena found me, didn't she? She made the effort to search for me. While you kept me in the dark. I need to process all of this. I need, I need space from both of you right now. I can't pretend everything is okay when it's not. Sam, please don't shut us out. We love you and we'll do whatever it takes to make it right. I, I need time alone. I'll let you know when I'm ready to talk. But for now... Please, respect my need for distance. Okay, Sam. Take the time you need. Just know that we're here for you, no matter what. Sam, why did you leave in the middle of our outing today? We were having such a great time, and you've almost exposed me. Serena, I don't understand why you would do that. What did I do wrong? You took your favorite dress and stuffed it in your bag. You even wanted me to be like you. Why did you do that? I thought you said you had a stable job that could afford you expensive items. Well, 
when I mentioned my job, I didn't specify what kind of job it was. But look, isn't it true that I already own that dress? <laughs> this work has been sustaining me for the past three years. What do you mean? Have you been doing this job for three years? Serena, you need to stop. This is not only a bad idea, but it's also illegal. It could get you in serious trouble. Oh, come on, Sam. Look at me. Have I ever been caught? Besides, this is the only way I can make money to take care of myself because I wasn't lucky enough to have good adoptive parents like you. How do you even make money? I still don't fully understand. Did you did you just steal that dress to wear? Didn't I mention that I work in clothing stores? I also acquire items from handbag stores, shoe stores, even supermarkets. Then, I sell them online for a lower price than in the stores, and that's how I make money to cover my expenses. I'm still not sure about this, Serena. Oh, forget about that for now. Remember when I mentioned a surprise earlier when you were having coffee? Well, I got you a lovely dress from the clothing store you like. It's right here. Wait, did you steal that dress too? Well, you could say I'm a bit of a professional. <laughs> How else do you think I can afford all these things? But that's not the surprise I was talking about. Tonight, we're going to enjoy a party at UF. A guy I met on the internet sent me an invitation. A college prep party? I, I don't think I can go, Serena. Seriously? Are you worried about your parents again? <laughs> You're such a goody two-shoes, always playing by the rules. Well, let me tell you something, Sam. Life isn't all rainbows and unicorns. You know, sometimes you have to break a few rules to find your true self. Plus, we're hanging out as sisters. But we're not of legal drinking age. Well, if we don't mention it, who will know? Come on, it's going to be so much fun. We'll have some drinks, flirt with guys, and have a great time. Well, maybe I'll dance a little, but I won't drink. If you want to, go ahead, but I don't think it's a good idea. Sam, we're attending a college party. If we don't drink, people are going to think we're weird. Come on, Sam. Just one drink. Then, uh, fine. <laughs> Only one shot. Oh, great. I'll come over to pick you up and get you to dress up. Hey, young girl. Running to your room and slamming the door is not the right behavior. Especially after I just bailed you out of a detention cell somewhere. Mom, I got it, alright? I'm just exhausted. And it's not that big of a deal, okay? Not a big deal? Going to a college party? Are you out of your mind? And on top of that, you were drinking that wine. The police even found weed and drugs at the party. But I didn't touch any of that stuff. So why are you so worried? Oh, Sam, you're only 16 years old. You're far from being mature enough to resist those temptations on your own. No, mom. I'm 16 years old. I'm practically an adult and fully capable of taking responsibility for my actions. Is that so? Then why did I have to bail you out because you were drinking and partying with adults? What's wrong with you, Samantha? Have you completely lost your mind? Is it because of Serena? Since she came into our lives, you've changed so much. Oh, <laughs> don't blame Serena for this. What's a big deal anyway, so I wanted to have some fun with my sister. And for once, I wanted to skip the suffocating embrace of you and dad. Being with Serena has opened my eyes to new experiences, including drinking and skipping school. Wait a minute. You skipped school to hang out with Serena? When did this happen? And why didn't the school bother to notify me? Today, alright? This morning. Serena pretended to be you and called the school saying I was sick and needed to leave early. It's just one day of school. It's not like I'm the only one who's ever skipped a class. That's enough! If you didn't want to go to school, you should have had the decency to inform us. But instead, you both decided to lie and deceive us. Wow. Now you're suddenly the moral authority on lying? <laughs> I 
that's rich, mom. Watch your tone, Samantha. No, this is insane. It's not like I was some, some wild, out of control party. I was spending time with my own sister, trying to build a bond that we never had. Or trying to make up for all the lost years. I understand that, Samantha. We want you to have a relationship with Serena too. But what you're doing is dangerous and reckless. Cutting classes, attending parties met for older students, and drinking alcohol? What's next? Stealing? Doing drugs? Oh, please. It's not as if I've gone that far. From now on, whenever you want to visit Serena, one of us will accompany you. We can't trust you to make wise decisions on your own. Are you kidding me? I'm not a child anymore. I don't need constant supervision. I'm 16 and I can handle myself. Fine. We'll continue this discussion tomorrow. Right now, go get ready for your classes tomorrow and go to bed. We'll sort this out, Samantha, one way or another. No, I'm not going to sleep at home tonight. I'm packing my things and leaving for Serena's apartment. I've had enough of this suffocating environment. You can't control me anymore. How dare you speak to me like that? You're not leaving this house, Samantha. You're grounded and that's final. Grounded? Like, that's going to stop me. <laughs> you think I care about your punishments? You've already betrayed me by hiding the truth about my adoption. I can't trust you anymore. Trust goes both ways, Samantha. We did what we thought was best for you. We love you and we've always tried to protect you. Love? Is this your version of love? Keeping secrets from me, treating me like a child, and suffocating my every move? <laughs> well, I'm done with it. Serena's the only one who understands me who accepts me for who I am. That doesn't change the fact that you're our daughter. And this is not just about Serena. You're making reckless decisions, getting involved in dangerous situations. Am I though? You didn't give birth to me. We don't have the same blood. Sam, family doesn't require blood. It requires love. One day you're gonna see that. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you everything, but that doesn't change the fact that we're family. We're trying to keep you safe. Safe? More like controlling every aspect of my life. I'm not a child anymore, mom. I deserve the freedom to make my own choices, even if they're not the ones you agree with. You're not ready for that kind of freedom, Samantha. You're still young and you need guidance. Guidance? Is that what you call it? <laughs> I call it suffocation. I can't breathe in this stifling environment. I'm leaving, and you can't stop me. Then don't blame me for locking your door. What? Mom! You can't do that! Mom! Serena? My mom locked my door so I can leave. I don't know what to do. She's, she's trying to control me and keep me trapped here. I need your help. Sam, what happened? It's ridiculous, Serena. They think you have a bad influence on my behavior, so they don't want me going out with you anymore. I argued with them, but they didn't listen. They're convinced that you're the reason for all my rebelliousness. I can't believe my parents. First, they never even told me I was adopted, and now they try to control every aspect of my life. How could they keep something like that from me? It's like... They don't trust me enough to know the truth about my own identity. Sam, I understand why you're upset. It's a big revelation, and it's understandable that you feel betrayed. But maybe your parents had their reasons for not telling you earlier. They might have thought it was best for you to find out when you were older. Sometimes, I wish I didn't have this awful family. I can't help but think about... How different my life would have been if I had been living with you all these years. It seems like it would have been so much better. Are you serious, Sam? You're saying that as if your life with your family is the worst thing in the world. You have no idea how lucky you are to have parents who love you and take care of you. They may not be perfect, but they've always been there for you. I'm sorry, Serena. But sometimes it's just... It's hard for me to see it that way. 
I feel like they're trying to control my every move and now this whole adoption thing just adds to the confusion. I can't help but wonder how things would have been if I had grown up with you. You think it would have been so great, huh? Living on the streets, struggling to survive, not knowing where your next meal is coming from. You have no idea what I went through, Sam. You may think your life is tough, but you have a family who cares about you, a roof over your head, and opportunities that I never had. What do you mean? I thought you said you had a free life and could do whatever you want. <laughs> no. Sam, I've always looked up to your family and wished I had someone who cared about me the way they care about you. Maybe things would have turned out differently for me if I had that kind of support. Sam, let me tell you a bit more about my life. I spent a significant amount of time in orphanages and adoption centers, hoping to be chosen by a loving family, but time and time again I saw other children getting adopted with while well, I was left behind. <laughs> when I was 10 years old, the orphanage faced financial difficulties and I had to move from one foster family to another. <laughs> Unfortunately, many of those families mistreated me and forced me to work as a maid, taking advantage of my vulnerable situation. Oh my gosh, my poor sister. Then what happened? By the time I turned 13, I had enough. I ran away and never looked back. I was too young to find a regular job, so I had to resort to stealing to survive. It was the only way I knew how to make ends meet and put food on the table. The constant struggle for survival took me from place to place and that's how I ended up in Florida. I came here because I got caught stealing multiple times in my previous location and I needed to start fresh somewhere I wouldn't be recognized. So, you see, Sam, my life hasn't been easy either. It's not the life I would have wished for, but it's the one I had to live. That's why sometimes I feel frustrated when I see you taking your family for granted. They may have their flaws, but they love you. You have the stability and support that I never had. Serena, I had no idea you went through all that. I'm so sorry for not realizing what you've been through. It must have been incredibly tough for you, going from foster home to foster home. I can't imagine how that must feel. It's okay, Sam. I don't talk about it often. But, Sam, I have a confession to make. Your parents were right about me. At first, when I saw the happiness and love you had with them, I was consumed by jealousy, so I wanted to spoil things between you and your adoptive parents. I thought if I caused enough trouble, they would give up on you and we could be together. <laughs> Just the two of us. But why? Why did you change your mind all of a sudden? I don't understand. It was seeing you, Sam. Seeing the happiness on your face when you're with your parents love and care they have for you, it made me realize that you deserve to have that in your life. I love you, Sam. And you're my sister. I want what's best for you. I can't bear the thought of you going through the same struggles and hardships that I've endured. I want to protect you, not harm you. Serena, I want you to know that I don't blame you for anything. Yes, our journey together had its ups and downs, but I also felt happy during the time we spent together. You showed me a different side of life, and I appreciate that. It wasn't all bad, and I'm grateful for the moments we shared. Sam, I appreciate your understanding, but I can't help feeling that I should have never shown up in your life. Seeing the happiness you have with your adoptive parents, I can't help but think that you would be better off without me. Maybe I'm just a reminder of a troubled past and I don't want to hold you back from the life you deserve. No, Serena, don't say that. Yes, things were complicated, but you're my sister and I care about you. I don't want you to disappear from my life. 
We've been through so much together and I don't want to lose you. Please, stay, Sam. I understand your words, but sometimes the best thing we can do for someone we love is to let them go. I believe you can continue to find happiness and grow in the love of your adoptive parents without me being a constant presence. It's not about what you deserve or what I deserve, but what will truly make you happy in the long run life. I hope that one day our paths will cross again and we can continue our journey together. <laughs> Goodbye, Sam. Thank you for everything. As the days went by, my parents stumbled upon the messages between Serena and me. They took the time to read and understand the hardships she had faced in her life. Instead of harboring resentment towards Serena, they felt sympathy and compassion for her difficult journey. Then, my birthday approached, and I couldn't help but feel a mix of excitement and nostalgia. Little did I know, it was also Serena's birthday. On that special day, my parents surprised both of us by showing up at Serena's apartment with a gift in hand. A formal adoption request. The shock on Serena's and my face was indescribable, but it was quickly replaced by overwhelming joy. In that moment, it became clear that my parents wanted to make our family complete in every sense. They saw the strength of the bond between Serena and me and recognized the love that had grown between us. It was a heartfelt gesture, demonstrating their desire to give Serena the stable and loving home she had longed for. The following days were filled with preparations and adjustments. My parents accompanied Serena to the shops and groceries she used to steal from, not only to pay for her past mistakes, but also to apologize and mend any broken trust. They wanted to show Serena that she was no longer alone and that she had family who cared for her deeply. As time went on, our family truly became complete. The wounds of the past began to heal and a new chapter unfolded. We laughed together, cried together, and embraced the joys and challenges of life as a united family. The love that filled our home was palpable, bringing a sense of peace and happiness that I had never felt before. Looking back, I couldn't have imagined a more beautiful ending to our story. Despite the struggles and hardships we faced along the way, our journey led us to a place of love, understanding, and forgiveness. Our family, once fragmented, had transformed into a solid foundation of support and care. I am grateful every day for the love and acceptance my parents have shown, not only to me, but also to Serena. Our family may have started with an unconventional beginning, but in the end, it was a testament to the power of love and the incredible strength of the human spirit. Together, we had overcome the odds and created a new chapter filled with hope and happiness. And so, as I reflect on our journey, I can't help but smile. My family is finally complete and the warmth in my heart tells me that everything is as it should be.